what is best in life. We join Emir Alandon the Young, who is 14 years old. He survived uh, 13 years of his regency. Will he survive the last couple of years to become the reigning Emir? And I am trying still to reform. This is the territory that I hold now as the uh, Emir of Tabaristan, Emir of Galad, and then I have Kurdistan and uh, Shah Rizar. Uh, most of the territory is inside the Sultanate of Moose Jaws, except for the Kurdistan, which is a holy site, contains a holy site for Zoroaster, as Zoroastrians, and uh, I don't hold uh, some of these, these one, two, three, four, five territories, or six territories. These are held by the Byzantine Empire, so I won't be getting my hands on that. These are held by the Empire of Spain. These are uh, held by Mulhalabid which is the Arabian Empire, and it's just a little outpost. However, uh, these two, uh, I hope to uh, get my hands on, although for some reason, I cannot get a conquest, Casa Spelli. Or no, it does say, I do have a Casa Spelli now, uh, but it needs to be approved by my council, at least for the next year. But my decadence is now at 50%, and uh, my demesne size is over. So I have one too many titles. Um, I'm not sure which title I should get rid of. Uh, let's see, Quivir is held by my kinsman, Alamut, held by my cousin, Tabaristan. Um, Gurgan is held by me. I need, that's my trading post. I accidentally gave away Kazwin to my cousin when I meant to give away Kavir. Uh, so Kazwin has the other trading post, which I actually would like to get back. And and my title won't accept it, and I don't have the title revocation law enabled. So it looks like I'm going to be spending much of this episode uh, just trying to build up enough piety to form the uh, Jaws, uh, Jaws Sultanate, the Moose Jaws Sultanate, and then to uh, get back Kazwin and Tabriz, which I both accidentally uh, conquered and gave away in such a way that not I, but my uncles control it. The trade route from Kurdistan is in dire need of new pack animals and equipment to be able to continue bringing in goods. Lose 200 gold. Oh, we'll definitely lose the prestige. Yes, I have. All, uh, although having a prestige over a thousand gives me a nice buff to uh, have my fellow courtiers like me. And there are factions forming because, again, even though he likes me to, he has an 87 opinion of me or 77. If I send him a gift, okay, I've already bribed him. My kinsman, if I give him a gift, will he uh, leave the faction? And then my vassal, Sheik of Megara, I guess he really wants on council. Oh, and he has a high intrigue score of 20. Yeah, but my spy master that I currently have a, has a score of 21, and he too is a powerful counselor. Do I give away 95 gold? Yes, I do, to get that uh, score. So my spy master actually likes me. So hopefully he will get rid of the plotters and not let them defeat me. And uh, there's a new plot. Sheik Jaws Quinque for the Jaws Satrapy, Grand Vizier. Uh, I have special feelings for a special someone lately. The strange urges to find myself embraced and close to another person. If only I could find myself alone with the carpenter's daughter the farrier's apprentice. No, I had better keep these to myself. Uh, the carpenter's daughter. And I have grained the diligence trait, which is fantastic, the ambitious, which is even better, and patient, which is not so bad either. So I have a half decent traits, not great traits, as and the strong trait as uh, the heir to the Jaws satrapy. And then my heir is my cousin, who also has uh, good traits, including the 21 Intrigue, although he's a lunatic, which is unfortunate. 
Uh, I find after weeks of waiting for the right opportunity, I find myself behind the barn alone together with the carpenter's daughter that my heart has been longing for. My palms are sweaty and my chest is pounding. Uh, declare my eternal love for her. No, I don't want to become Chase. Uh, this will affect my monthly piety. It will increase my fertility. I'll just kiss her on the cheek. I don't want either the piety. I actually need piety in this game, playing as a uh, Islamic character. I don't play uh, Muslim characters very much. And actually, my one long uh, Muslim playthrough was as a merchant republic. So I didn't require piety as head of a monthly republic either. And so I have a water clock, which gains me 0.5 piety. My learning, 0.4 piety. Piety from buildings, 0.1 and piety from vassal buildings plus one and technology 12.5. So my, I do have extra technology points, but I spent them on legalism so that I could get primogeniture uh, or actually will this gain me piety? Temple taxes, but will it gain me additional piety or do I want the construction uh, I might go for the construction instead, so I'll hold off, although these military points I really should spend. Military organization, plus 300 retinues, yes, I will spend my military points. And actually, I could spend them again. So what is my retinue level now? Uh, 436. If I reform the uh, Sultan, the Sultanate, uh, that should jump up to a thousand and I should actually be able to spend it. But I don't think I can get any retinue for 456 right now, or actually cost to create retinue cap usage 880. Yes, all of them are above. This is 540, 550, 900, 700, 725, uh, 900, 550. Yeah, I think 550 is about the least. So what other, I have decadent relatives, but I don't have a hundred piety to try to straighten him up. And the holy sites, these are not Zoroastrian holy sites. These are the Sunni holy sites. Mecca is held by a member of, Mecca is not held by a member of the Sunni faith. This is Mecca here, isn't it? Or is this Mecca? Mecca? Hmm. Mecca, here we go. And he's the Emir. Oh, he's a Shia. Hmm. So they don't consider that as being held by a Muslim. That's interesting. So my decadence growth is 51% uh, in growing. Now, I don't really have much to do that I can do as I just await uh, the end of... I don't believe I have any, um, I could, oh, I don't have a court physician. That's a bad thing. That's a very bad thing. Uh, uh, he has a learning of 16 and he's actually uh, my vassal. So now I have a court physician of 16, betrothed can marry. And so we will uh, try to switch back to a Zoroastrian, Zoroastrian ruler as quickly as possible. Protector General Zog of the Western Protectorate has decreed that the fury of heaven shall rain down upon uh, Tibet, the Chinese armies have begun their march, and if not hiding out in Lhasa, can only hope to stand tall as his borders are attacked with the full wrath of the Tang Empire. Oh, so there's going to be a war between Tibet and the Western Protectorate. I actually thought Tibet was under the uh, suresancy or the rule of the uh, Empire, but apparently not. So can I ask for a boon? Request physician, I am out of grace with the Empire. I could send an artifact, but I would rather not, as I'd rather send eunuchs and concubines. And I don't even have a single... Why does Gurgan 
Was the trading post in Gurgan looted? Yes, that looks like I have to yet again rebuild the trading post in Gurgan. My monthly income is severely affected. My liege, my work in Karakum has finally come to fruition by bribing, cajoling, and threatening. I have uh, established a claim. Uh, I will use it, 142 gold. Now, can I attack Karakum without losing piety? If I uh, have a causes belly other than conquest, uh, and my cousin has been appointed my regent, uh, my war declarations still have to be approved by my council. That should be ending fairly soon, though. I'm 15. Doesn't really say when your birthday is. And oh, my spouse is 20. How is my spouse? Oh, she's a genius. Good. And great diplomacy score. Ambitious genius. The regency for Emir Elg has ended. So uh, I have finished my education in diplomacy and I'm an underhanded rogue. So, but with my wife's score, arrange marriage. Yes, let's get married so that I can get those great bonuses. And I should choose a focus. Uh, what should my focus be? I have a high learning diplomacy. My business is appalling. But yet that is what I should uh, begin with, is my business education. Now I'll slow things down just a little bit as I start searching for spouses and that sort of thing. Um, a message about a point counselor, the title of marshal, no thank you. I'm not getting sucked into somebody else's court where I can be assassinated like I have so many times before or simply die of a disease because of the terrible physician which I'm not sure if it's a de facto assassination attempt or not. So it looks like there's a number of people who want to marry me because of my first wife's high score. There's a genius. Uh, she's six years old, but I'm still pretty young. So I will try to marry her. And choose an ambition. Uh... Become Paragon of Virtue, become King of Moose Jaws. I will choose that. And then after that, I will choose Groom and Heir. And now I should have some intrigue abilities to reduce my decadence, I hope. Or increase my piety and or reduce my decadence. Offer a 200 donation to my liege. Why would I do that? Uh, so he's accepted the betrothal. I'm betrothed to one genius. I will go on a Hajj to Mecca for 36 gold. And my traits are, I have patient and diligent, only ambitious could be considered negative. So hopefully this won't backfire and cause me to uh, spike up my decadence through overeating or doing something unpious. I'm uh, preparing myself for travel to Mecca and I have understood that there are members of my court that have not yet gone in the pilgrimage. As Emer, it's my duty to be charitable to my people and I will bring one of them with me. I will bring my cousin, sure, just nine gold. And my cousin might be the next uh, Emer, so might as well bring him. Onwards to Mecca. I gain the trait on Hajj and there's a regent appointed. Uh, Demesne, too big. I take passage on a ship. The crew is soon exposed as less than honorable. The captain is overheard discussing how he and his men will sell the pilgrims he is carrying, including you, into slavery at the next port. This will not come to pass to arms. We will sneak off the ship. Uh, this will not come to pass to arms. And I didn't get wounded, I don't think. Together with the other pilgrims, you turn against the crew and a fierce struggle ensues. The battle ends when you run your blade through the treacherous captain's gut and the rest of the crew surrenders. The ship is yours to command. Set sail for Mecca. So I've gained some prestige. Oh, and what's this thousand, pe thousand host doing here? Um, traveling to Mecca gives time for reflection. A man should not go into excess when it comes to food and should always abstain from wine. Sure. I guess if you're a Muslim, why not? 
So this is a host, and I really should drive off the host. Army levies. I will just raise the Demesne troops. As you stop for camp one evening, you notice that an old man in poor clothing has made uh, camp at the same place. The man offers to tell you a hadith if you can spare him some bread. I will listen. The old man says that uh, Masood reported that the Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, said, truthfulness leads to piety and piety leads to the garden. A man should be truthful until he is written down as truthful in the sight of Allah. Lying leads to deviance and deviance leads to the fire. A person lights, lies to the point that he is written down as a liar in the sight of Allah. Uh, all right, so I gain one diplomacy. There we go. And... Hopefully I'm driving off this host. I s arrive in Mecca. I start preparing for the evening's prayer. When I discover that the water in the well is not entirely pure, the water will not be valid water for use for ablution. I will inform others nearby. And I'm now at the Kabbalah and performing the Tawaf. Seven circuits I will walk around the black stone. And each time I complete a circle, I will point to the stone and say, in the name of Allah, Allah is great, Allah is great, Allah is great, and praise be to Allah. So do I we want to gain proud or humble? Well, I'll try for humble this time. Uh, uh, I will shout it three times. When Abraham left Minna and brought down um, to it the al Akba, the devil appeared to him. Gabriel said to him, pelt him. So Abraham threw seven stones at him, so he disappeared from him. Did I gain the uh, humble trait? Uh, let's see, I think I drove off the host. Gurgan was captured in battle and is now my prisoner. Gurgan, there we go. And Gurgan Gotteld was also captured. While journeying home, you are caught in the open desert by a terrible sandstorm. You are forced to seek shelter behind a small rock outcoming to shield yourself from the wind. Taking comfort in your faith after visiting Mecca, you spend the night in prayer. As dawn arrives, you feel invigorated. Great, gaining all sorts of piety. That's fantastic. Now, and betrothed can marry. I have decadent relatives. Oh, I need to get him to straighten up, but this is going to cost me almost all of the piety that I just gained, but I'll try it. Straighten up. There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and I am now a Hajjij, and have returned. And I will disband my troops. My decadent cousin, Sheikh Alandin of Alamut, refuses to change his sinful ways. I can declare him a kafir, which will give me a reason to imprison the degenerate, unless there is another way to get through, through for him. So he is the Sheikh of Kazwin, and I could take, but he's my spy master as well. Uh, I will negotiate with him to try to get him. Okay, so he has changed his ways, and he must stay pure. So he should never get the decadent trade again, and that should remove my decadence growth, um, piety, technology, 12 point cents, piety from vassal buildings, learning, hajij, another point one, and the humble gain me plus one, not point one, but an entire plus one. Uh, dear Landon Elk, I would like to invite you for a small gathering of friends to dine and drink and forget about the world outside for a while. Of course, I will come. My kinsman, the Grand Vizier, and unfortunately, I'm down to 58. My emir, the more I study the Zakiri religion, the more I feel compelled to embrace it, to show you the wisdom that lies in the texts. I've sent you excerpts from the most interesting parts. I urge you to follow, follow my example and embrace the Zakiri religion. That's my Zakiri. Oh, it's a Sunni heresy. Ah, uh, I will, n <laughs> I will never embrace your vile heresy publicly. Uh, unfortunately, he is mad. Rest him. Oh, okay. And he's arrested. And he's a vassal as well, which is unfortunate. But So now I need a new Imman, seeing as my last one became a heretic. 
Um, according to my marshal, the peasants of Delam are having frequent troubles with highwaymen. He suggests constructing a course, uh, constructing a series of outposts along the roads of Delam. The peasantry would make, may would feel much safer, and it would even lead to more peasants moving to the country. All right, I will spend a little gold to try to beef up the uh, peasants. And I don't have much in the way of uh, imams, so I will try to get them to research cultural tech, but again, I'm not even sure if that's possible. News from China, the people of Tibet probably never knew why the eminent emperor chose to attack Zhang Gul. Regardless, they have suffered a crushing defeat and Han armies are journeying home to celebrate as their victory has been declared. And so I guess they probably gained another. So my sheik. So he's scheming and my steward is currently in Gurgaon to collect taxes. And my marshal is uh, training troops and my grand vizier is in Karakum to uh, there we go. Now, can I invade Karakum? I've arrived at the private rooms of Sheikh Jaws Quinky. Uh, there's plenty of food and drink here, and the mood is decidedly merry. I'm looking forward to this. So I will do so now. Can I declare war? Although that will end the feast. I can claim Karakum because I have the Casas Belly. Shervan Holdings. The holdings of the sheikdom of Shirvan are all de jure vassals of Emir Alan Al Elg the Youngs, which is enough to cause a war. Mosque of Absharon. To press Urbad Alandin. So my kinsmen. Yes, I think I'll press them on behalf of Urbad. I'll lose 10 prestige. Um, oh, while well, attacking a fellow Sunni Muslim, we'll lose two piety a month. Uh, Shink, Sheik Jaws has brought out the board pieces and suggests you play a few rounds to determine who is the better strategist. He insists that you play for money. Very well, let's play. You played for hours, the tides of fortune ebbing and flowing as you tried to attack your opponent's positions without opening your defense too much. Eventually, you found a critical opening and made a few inspired and aggressive moves and won the game. Hail to the Emir, and I get Apprentice Board Gamer, giving Diplomacy plus one. Well, good for me. Now, uh, the how many troops can the Emir raise? He can only raise uh, 500. The reveling and carousing is over for now. Time to get back to real life. I'll dedicate all my free time to games from now on. And Master Gamer would gain me Martial, Narrow dipl uh, Diplomacy, Narrow Flank. All right. And I don't believe Master Gamer prevents me from getting other traits. So I will uh, attack, uh, declare war. Shirvan holdings, the holdings in the sheikdom of Shirvan are all. So I think Shirvan holdings should be all of the holdings, I hope. So I will raise my troops. Uh, no, I will not accept your position of commander. My wife is pregnant. That's excellent. Let's get some heirs going. And there's this army of 400. He is beating me up a bit, a bit but I will get him in the end. But he is getting some chunks out of me. A land and elg. Uh, I will not lead troops. Although I think I gain piety if I lead troops. However, uh, I've been presented with an opportunity to let everyone be reminded of our rulership. If you wish to mint new coins for the realm, there is a master of the craft that will do. Uh, what you wish. Not only will the mintage be exquisite, it will be adorned with a glorious portrait of you, and I will debase the mints with less precious metals for profit. 
and I don't believe I gained the deceitful trait. Ever since my pursuit of wealth began and you started keeping in a close eye on both income and expenses, your coffers seem to be filling to the brim more often than not. Stewardship plus one, which is excellent. Now let me get this army together and... All right, let me slow things down since I'm at war and get some commanders appointed. Uh, show commanders only. Commanders, great. I have some members of my dynasty because I believe if I have members of my dynasty uh, leading the army, I believe I get some extra piety as a Muslim. So, and a son was born. Landon. Oh, and a daughter was born as well. Uh, although, again, being a Muslim daughter's, uh, oh, great, and Jaws is a Zoroastrian. Good for him. Okay, so uh, we will give him a conscientious education and a Zoroastrian guardian. Um, I have a Tengri guardian, and I guess Sheik of Tabriz. And is there anyone, she's kind of old, she's 12, or she'd be a good as a strong mate for him. And it doesn't look like there's anyone with too many great traits except Sayyid, which is a descendant of the Prophet Muhammad or one of his uh, uncles. Uh, it doesn't look like there is uh, anyone worthy to marry my son at the moment, except for this 12-year-old who is unfortunately just a bit too old. As she'll be almost out of childbearing age by the time uh, my son grows up. So, uh, yes, we will leave that there. Now I will get this... Uh, thought I just appointed commanders. Why are the other commanders not available? She could land in the... uh, And a marriage proposal. That sounds good. Now, can I just beat up this army a little bit before attacking the Emir? And we'll get the speed back up to see if I can get this uh, duchy conquered. That's that army out of the way. Now, can I get over here? And do I lose 221 gold? No, I think I will let it go and gain 10 piety. And I have a new heir. I will play as my son. A son was born to Emir Alandin Elg the Young and the High Chiefess. And... Oh, another son, and he's my heir. Hmm. Oh, darn it. He's, uh, we'll do a heritage focus, and then I will give him a Zoroastrian guardian to hopefully convert him to Zoroastrianism. There we go. I sat next to the Sheikh Ramadan at dinner when he tells me about a family of pagans which was attacked in his capital, Tortusa. They will never see their friends and relatives again, poor cells, Ramadan says with a heavy sigh. Such senseless violence, my heart aches for this. And uh, yes, I will gain sympathy for the pagans. Now I will try to eliminate. Great, can I wipe out this army? They're at 197, so they may even be too small to siege any of my holdings. And I wiped out that little army, and now I will head over here. Well, it doesn't look like I will uh, get to uh, win this extra uh, sheikdom or em emirate yet from, Kiz uh, from the emir. So we'll end the episode there. 
I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notification of my other videos. And perhaps uh, watch another video from my channel. Uh, have a good day.